All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, this is my second segment of uh, the overview of my Green Ranger cosplay that I, that I uh, picked up from Anarchy. Um, you guys have seen in the first segment uh, the different parts that I covered. I covered the uh, the armbands, the uh, the boots, the uh, dragon dagger, the belt, the holster, and the uh, dragon buckler, um, the gloves, and the head cover and the uh, gauntlets. So the next segment here I'm going to cover is the uh, the shield. I'm also going to cover the jumpsuit and the helmet. So let's go ahead and get into that. Okay. Here is the Green Ranger jumpsuit here. Um, it's got the diamond stitching on there. It's very nicely, uh, nicely done. Um, it's got the Velcro in the front for the shield. Um, the Velcro on the back for the back shield, back of the shield to attach to. Uh, it's got a zipper right here. If I can get it open. All right, opens up like that. Um, does it look like that? It's also got the uh, elastic uh, points right here. To put your thumb through. For the uh, for the arms, it also has uh, loops right here that go on your feet. Uh, it's very nice, very nice detailed. Um, uh, the only my only my only uh, concern is with the Velcro on the front and the back for the shield because um, when you put the shield on, it, the Velcro may have a tendency to catch under your jumpsuit, and if it does that, it's going to pull on the fibers and ruin it. So uh, just got to be very careful with that. But. Uh, like I said, uh, when you send Anarchy your boots, uh, not your boot size, your, your measurement size from the from the chart that he supplies you with, he will also measure this up to your size. So uh, just make sure you give him exact measurements so that it's not, so that the jumpsuit or the suit in general doesn't look too bulky or too small. Alright. Next we're going to go ahead and cover is the Green Ranger shield. Here's the shield, okay. Uh, it's got the diamond here. He put the uh, the had a nice uh, the detail for the symbols from the from the show from the from the Green Ranger. Uh, here's the uh, the the shield is made out of foam. Um, it's got the uh, lines here, nicely detailed. And on the show, of course, and um, for for the Power Rangers and whatnot, the uh, the lines uh, actually stop right where they're supposed to on this. I've seen on some shields how the, the lines actually uh, connect with the diamond, which it's there's some inaccuracy there, but hey, you know, not everyone's going to be made perfect. So Anarchy tried to make this uh, as screen accurate as possible. So as you can tell, the lines here aren't crooked like I've seen on some of them. Um, so he did a nice job with that. Here are the uh, straps. Velcro here. Let's see? And they connect to this side, um, so it's pretty nice. And you basically put the shield on like so. There's a Velcro there, okay? Comes apart like that. And then here's the Velcro points for the back, and here's the Velcro point for the front for your shield to connect to your jumpsuit. So for a shield, it's uh, very nicely done. Um, like I said, if you're acquiring a Green Ranger uh, cosplay from Anarchy, um, he makes some of the, the more detailed ones. So I highly recommend uh, if you're getting a Green Ranger cosplay to definitely get this. Okay, so, but that's the shield. All right. Last but not least, we have the Green Ranger helmet. Okay, this is probably the the more detailed of the helmets that I've seen uh, very accurate it's got the clasps on both sides there um, the teeth and everything are, are nicely designed um, the do the jewel here is nice as well everything's uh, pretty screen accurate um, uh, and also I've seen on some of the helmets uh, on the internet and a few other places on YouTube some of the helmets that other people have the mouth is not smiling. Okay, um, 
And I've seen, I know there's a couple places like Model for Hobby and Rogue's Chest and a few other ones. Um, the mouths, the mouth on them are smiling. I, I, I don't know why they do them like that. It's, it's an inaccuracy. So, uh, when you, if you're looking for a screen accurate helmet, Anarchy is the one to go to. For, in my opinion, I think he's the one to go to. So, we're going to open this up for you guys. Okay. All right. So when you get the clasps off, there's the uh, the keys that uh, help connect the helmet together. Here's the inside, mostly made of foam. Um, and there's, of course, the visor and everything on the inside. Now, because of the way the helmet's designed, uh, it sits very close to your face. So if you're very claus if you get if you're one of those type of people who get claustrophobic, it's probably not for you. Um, but uh, that's just the way the helmets are made. Anarchy only makes these helmets to one size. So uh, if you have an abnormally large head, uh, you're going to have to get in touch with Anarchy beforehand and send them the size of your head if you can. And maybe he can make you a custom size helmet to, for your head um, because these helmets are extremely small. Um, and it's just something that you have to get used to. Um, once you get the keys lined up like that, that's how it clips together. Okay. So, like I said, um, this is a very nicely designed helmet. I love it. Um, and like I said, it's just going to take some getting used to once you initially put it on. Um, and also keep in mind that the, the visor does tend to ha have the tendency to fog up. So uh, I will tell you, I will tell you guys uh, how to alleviate that here in a minute. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot. There's the breathing holes there. Okay. What I'm going to end up doing is probably drilling these holes a little bit bigger so I can breathe out of it because it is a little bit difficult to breathe in this thing. All right, to help alleviate the problem with the fogging of the helmet visor, uh, I, I recommend you guys get this. This is Fog Tech. Uh, they sell this for motorcycle helmets and stuff like that. Um, it definitely helps. And it's basically a uh, clear solution that you spray on the lens. comes with these pads uh, that, are, that are included in this. And you, you, you wipe the solution on, let it dry for about 20 seconds, and it forms a clear film over your visor. And it lasts for about a week. So definitely helps out. I bought this on Amazon for about 15 bucks, um, but you can buy these at your local motorcycle shop somewhere. So uh, just maybe something you can consider if you want. You don't have to, but it's your choice. Okay, so that was the brief uh, quick overview rundown of my Power Ranger cosplay. I'll be bringing this to Anime Expo uh, this year and in uh, Los Angeles and the Los Angeles Convention Center at the end of June. So uh, uh, keep on the lookout for that. If you guys are doing any kind of gatherings or anything for Power Rangers or anything, just uh, let me know. Um, I hope this video helped you guys um, out a little bit if you guys are trying to acquire a Power Ranger cosplay. If you guys have any questions on uh, acquiring one from Anarchy, uh, just uh, send me a message or uh, leave some comments down there and uh, let me know. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed my cosplay. Hopefully I can do another video of uh, my Iron Man cosplay that I had uh, the infamous Anthony Lee built for me. Um, but uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. So leave some comments down there, and uh, hopefully I can see you guys in my next video. All right, take care, guys.